just a little catch up uh, it's nine o'clock ish something like that uh, rods are in house is up and it's just started raining and as I've sat down I mean my rods have been in a good half hour but as as I've sat down as you're looking at it now the middle rod worm fishing has just slicked up and there's a massive flat spot just come up so I'm hoping that is um, the sign of some fish feeding it's not done it before and then all of a sudden two big flat spots have come up in the last five minutes so I'm hoping something's feeding over my pellet I've just put in so anyway when this rain stops bloody hell slicking up like mad um, when this rain, stop, rain stops I'll show you where I'm fishing so the rain's just ease a minute now it's about 10 o'clock ish I think just gone um, so my left arm rod is basically fishing rod length off just over rod rod length and a half off that bush there, that tree um, my middle rod is fishing the same distance out but probably four length, rod lengths off and then my middle rod is fishing about 14 wraps out um, just to the right of that little it looks like an island from here like a little sticky out bit of reeds so that's where my three rods are So you've seen where I'm fishing for now, I'm just looking again, it's started slicking up a little bit again, one of my rods. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, my left, I think, it's half past ten, I'm going to recast my left rod, because it fell a bit short than where I wanted, because my bag was melting because of the rain. So I was trying to get in a bit too, in quickly, and I messed the cast up a bit, a little bit. So it dropped a few feet short than where I wanted. So I'm going to do that one at half ten. And then I'm going to do my middle rod at half eleven, and then my end rod at half twelve, and then carry on every half hour. So there's a bit of pellet going in all the time, and um, I'm just putting a little scattering of boilies. I think I put ten, ten round each rod, and I might just reduce that to five next time. I'm just I'm just trying to try and do it little and often approach rather than put a load of bait in the bait boat, dump it, and then just sitting sitting on it. So I'm going for the little, little and often approach. Um, can't remember said before, but my left rod's got a solid bag on, my middle rod's got a solid bag on, and my right hand rod is just on a normal, my normal helicopter rig. So just try something a bit different on here. Last time we had all helicopters on, and uh, like I said, just putting a bit of bait in the boat and dumping it. But I'm only using bait boat on one rod this time. The two other two rods have. I'm casting it, so little bit of a little bit of a um, trial this one. Let's see, just see if I can do a bit better. Done crap last time, so it won't, not crap, but um, should have caught more basically. So yeah, that that's the plan for this session. During the day, is just keep pointing in, little and often, and then trying to build a swim up and see what happens. If, start getting loads of bites and obviously I'll, imp I'll up the bait a bit but at the moment that's that's what I'm doing a few boilies round and pellet in the bag so let's see how we get on eh? like I say I've got about 20 minutes I'm going to have a rechuck um, apart from that not much more has happened so catch up in a bit if anything happens just a quick midday update. Um, well, basically not much has happened. I've had a few little liners. I've just had one now. That's why I keep looking up uh, my middle rod. Yeah, but the only difference is I've moved my rod slightly. I've left my left hand one where it is, and then my middle one is going out to them reed still, but a bit further out. And my right hand rod is basically in open water now. Right basically directly out in open water so uh, I was chatting to Bailiff and he's said you're probably best fishing there so he knows more than me so um, yeah I've just chucked me rods out now so well I've just redone all three anyway still on two solid bags and um, 
my helicopter set up. So we'll see how we get on. If my helicopter does me a fish, I'll swap my other one of my solid bags to an helicopter as well and use my boat. But at the moment, I'm just using my boat for one rod and just just trying a couple of di little different things. I've got three different baits. I've got some um, A Force. Um, I've got I've got some sticky baits and I've got the in-house common wood purple art on so I've got three baits on if one starts doing a bite I'll swap them all to that but at the moment that's how I'm fishing um, I'm confident in the other two baits and I know purple hearts do all right on here so uh, I don't think baits a problem I think it's just if the fish are here and if my rigs are doing doing what they should do so we'll carry on I'm gonna leave them in now for at least an hour or two and just see if, see if anything happens so I'm going to grab myself a brew now I think and um, have a little chill for an hour It's been a frustrating day The lad on peg for smashing it oh, This is a bit wet and I'm struggling again but finally got one, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon apparently this is bite time so I finally got one, it's probably a scraper double or something. But yeah, at least we're off the mark anyway. So hopefully the fish are moving in. I was getting a couple of liners but nothing's nothing much happened so yeah, at least we're off the mark anyway. It's all I'm bothered about to be honest. This was the middle rod on the solid bag. Just a quick six o'clock update, and the update is sod all's happened. <laughs> the lad in peg four has absolutely smashed it today. I come on this morning, um, and he said he had nothing last night, and he's had about I think he said he's had about ten or eleven fish today. It's not stopped going as alarm. He's been, he's just he's had a couple of twenty, then a twenty nine, I think it was, and. He's just come over, he's just about to go home and he's devastated. He's, he said he's just lost the biggest common in the lake, which is, it's not been out for two years apparently, and it's about £35 last time. And he said he had it on for 20 minutes and then it come off as a hook pull. And he's just like, he said, how can he have 11 carp and that, but be devastated going home? But he's fishing in it and barbless sucks. He said he, he said he just couldn't do anything with it. It was just... It was in, in the margins and it just kept taking off, then lending reel back in and then taking off again. He said he couldn't couldn't get it under control but he looked he looked absolutely he looked ruined. He looked absolutely devastated. But he's had ten or eleven carp, so bloody hell. He's smashed it. I've had one and the lad next to me on peg five, he's had one as well. But he's going now the lad in peg four, so the lad in peg five now is gonna be going over to where he's been catching, so just leaves me on the end again um, I'm just hoping the winds drop now there's no wind at all I'm hoping the fish now um, move around a little bit and hopefully I can pick a couple up but yeah what a what a day that lads had but yeah anyway I've had a move I've had I have moved my left hand rod around a bit tried a couple of different spots for an hour here and there but just nothing. I've just had a couple of liners on my middle rod, but apart from that, um, absolutely no it's happened. It's doing my head in this place. I seem to be the only one who struggles on here, but anyway, it'll come, it'll come. But yeah, what so have I got two hours before dark? It's been nights are drawing in now, aren't they? Look, it'll soon be winter, Jesus. Right, I'm going to sign off, make some and eat, and hopefully get one. It's doing me sweet in this. I thought the solid bags would do the trick, not using the bait boat, but no. Anyway, it might just be that they're not there yet. They might work their, out, might work their way around here and then I'll get a few runs, we'll see. Right, catch up with years later. 
five minutes into dark and my left hand rod on the solid bag has gone at least this one's a double so it's took a while coming but at least at least I've got another fish I'm just made up I've had another one before um, I go to bed I was getting a bit depressed after watching him getting all them runs and stuff so at least, a, at least I've had another one anyway let's have a quick look at it little what 12 13 pounder something like that oh yeah happy days oh just add another line on my rod same rod right let's get this sorted just in case it goes there we are belter right just need one twice the size now at least Somebody fishing next to me, so I don't want to be too loud. Half past eleven, and I've just had um, this lickling. I'm not going to get it out and show you, but I've just unhooked it in the water. And I'm just going to let it go. But yeah, little um, mirror. I'll show you. see that it's only about so that's single figures so I'm not going to get out but yeah just add that one on my left rod again on the solid bag there we are I'm just going to let it go Another pristine common of around 15 pound. It's two o'clock in the morning, just gone now. Uh, it's been bucketing it down and it's just just as I landed the fish stopped. So I'm gonna hurry up before the rain starts again. It's just started spitting again. With a lovely bar of gold. Not weighty, but probably 14 or 15 pound. Yeah, let's have a look. I've just moved. That was my left rod again. So I've just moved my middle rod onto the same spot. Just why it seems to be doing a couple of bites. So there we go. Belter. Right, the rods are back in. I've just scattered a few DL a few boilies round um, again so yeah I'm gonna get myself back off to bed I think not being asleep yeah I don't think I might have dropped off for 10 minutes I'm not sure so right let's get it back Bloody hell, that didn't hang around. <coughs> this is more like what I've come for. Cracking and fish. Lovely common again. I think all, 
all the fish have come from come from a force apart from the very first fish that was on the krill the rest of them have caught on the a fish boilie well this is a lovely lovely looker absolutely pristine they're all in cracking condition cracking condition here really nice 24 pound on the dot Lovely fish, mint. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Look at that bad boy. Absolute belter. Oh, give a cracking fight as well. Just wouldn't, oh, it's gonna go. No, it's not. Just wouldn't come in at first, but yeah. Superb. I'm made up with this one now. This is what I wanted. Well, I wanted a 30 really, but... Beautiful fish. It's a 24 pound dead on it was. Come on, come on. There we go. Look at that. Superb. What a belter. What an absolute stunner. Session's going a bit better now. Struggled all day and the night it's just picked up. I think it's the wind's died down and the fish have moved round. But yeah, cracker. Right, I'm going to get a quick pick and put it back. Look at that. Yes, that's what I've come for. Morning, morning, morning. Ah, uh, there's a few hours since he had that fish now, so I think it's about nine o'clock ish or something like that, quarter to nine. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, I've not looked, but um, yeah, basically, since he had that 20. Nothing's happened, I've had no liners, no nothing. So I've got up, the rain stopped, the sun's out a little bit. Hopefully dry a bit of stuff off, which I'm glad about. Um, I've redone all my rods, actually, I've redone them all. And I'm, I've got, still got two on solid bag and one on helicopter. Uh, the bait boat rod, my helicopter rod, has not done a fish yet. So yeah, caught everything on my solid bags. Um, yeah, with pellet and crumbed up barley. So that's done me the business. I'm just hoping to have a bit more productive day than yesterday. Um, peg force smashed it yesterday. But what what I think happened, the wind started blowing that way. And um, the lad just hammered him. And then as soon as that wind died off last night, um, me and number five, started getting a um, run so I'm sure that wind was holding them up in the on peg four and probably peg one if somebody was fishing there um, so yeah hopefully well there's no wind now so I'm hoping the fish are just having a little mooch around and we'll pick pick a couple up during the day before I go home at six so I've got a good few I've got well, nine hours fishing and something left yeah so and I've had I've had five fish so I'm happy but don't mind a couple during the day to break the day up. Um, another big one would do me nice. So yeah, just making a brew and then I'll let the coffee, I'm gonna have a kip while the caffeine kicks in and then I'll be ready to go again in an hour or so. So yeah, I'm just gonna grab a brew and then we'll have a catch up later unless something happens. Looks like there's four of us on today for me second day. Um, peg one's taken over the opposite bank and then um, the lad's still on five and somebody's come on four as well I think the lad on five was open and um, no one turned up and then he could have fished on where that lad was catching from but uh, somebody's come on anyway so opposite, opposite me is free so this right hand rod does note 
I might take my boat out to that corner because that apparently does a few fish that corner so I'm going to give it a couple of hours here and then I might take my boat right out onto Peg 3's corner where there's no one there but we'll see anyway As you've just seen, I've just took my boat out. My right hand rod now is going on basically the corner of peg three. Um, there's no one on peg um, two or three, so I'm not, I'm not interfering with anyone else who's fishing. And to be honest, this is the reason I brought my boat, is just in the case that peg three was, th peg three was free. So I could poach that swim if mine was quiet. So it's just coming up to dinner my um, right arm rod. right arm rod hasn't done anything since I got here at all. I don't even know if I've had a liner on it, I don't think I have. I can't, anyway. So it's done absolutely nothing. So I've just took that out and put it in the corner of peg three. So fishing to the right of peg three. Um, see if that produces. I have seen fish come off there, so I do know it is a spot as such where people catch. So I need, need to do something with that rod. Like I say, it's not done out. So now I'm just going to recast, uh, re -solid, put new solid bags on my left and middle rod. And then I'm going to leave until about 2 o'clock and then redo them again if nothing's happened. Because I think bite time on here, start, it starts picking up around 2-ish, 3-ish or somewhere around there. So I'm hopeful for another one anyway before we go, but who knows. Seeing what happened yesterday, it was I was pathetic. It was pathetic during the day yesterday, but... That, it was windy then, now there's no wind at all hardly, so I think I've got more of a chance today. So that's that's what I've done anyway. Um, I'm just going to well, try and get my head down before I come and get sleep. I might try and try again in a bit once I've done my rods. Try and grab another hour's sleep before I have to drive home. Right, catch up with you later if anything happens. Three o'clock now, into the last what, three hours of fishing. This is bite time to be honest, as far as I'm aware, but there's been two fish out on peg four all day. I've had, I've not had a run. The lad in peg five and had nothing, and the lad in peg one's had nothing either. So that's two fish out of, out of four anglers, which isn't good. But so hopefully it'll switch on in a minute anyway. In fact, the rain's just starting, so I'm gonna get in my bivvy. But I've just redone my, my left rod. Um, I've left my other two rods, the one on the right in the far corner on peg three. I'm not touching that until I go home or I get a run, anything. Um, we'll redo my, sec my middle rod in about an hour or so, about four o'clock, just for the last couple of hours. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Am I, am I going to get anything? Who knows? Seems dead slow today. But you don't know, do you? So anyway, that's what that's where I am got three hours left I'm gonna get a brew and again the bivvy now because it's just started raining the only good thing is I'm pretty packed up to just me my bed shirt my bivvy and everything else is kind of there ready I'm just gonna chuck that cover over once I've got my brew stuff out so I'm basically good to go apart from my bivvy and my bed chair so uh, yeah I can leave leave that to the last minute if it stops raining I think it's only supposed to be a shower for an hour um, then I'm going to pack up and just sit at, sit al fresco for a bit. Right. And you can see where I've just casted in there, a bit of a slick. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get out. Last, last knockings, come on. Well, looks like the end of the blog. Um, can't see it happening now, it's 20 to 6. Um, packed up, I don't know if you can see, um, basically packed up, just my rods in. It's been a proper slow day today, I think two two fish have been off peg four, and the, oh no, sorry, the lad just packing up then, he's just had one off peg five. 
like a 14 and a half or something um, and that's all that's been out I've had, not had a run I've had a couple of liners and that is it nothing bizarre so basically all my fish have just come in that like little six hour window of a night but that's how it is isn't it so yeah so I think we'll be I'll sign off here now I'm gonna get my rods in in five or ten minutes so I'll see you on the next blog wherever that is and um, catch you on the bank thanks for watching see you soon